Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. It's that time of the month. It's the end of the month, so we're gonna look over what could potentially be coming next month for the NA side of the game. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more stuff featuring me. Let's get into it. So, as I've said in previous videos, our schedule's a little bit funky, because we're technically a little bit ahead. And we can see what's going to be happening on the JP side of the game in terms of November. But remember, there's actually a very exclusive thing that happens in November only in NA. Um, that's worth kind of talking about and will chances are be the final gap in between. So this is how their November looked like. Um, it was Imaginary Scramble pre-release followed up by Imaginary Scramble. Then the 22 million downloads campaign, the Realm of Hell Mandala Hian Kyo pre-release campaign, and then 1.8 million followers commemoration, and then that was basically it. Um, there wasn't anything else. Now, funny enough, they didn't actually get uh, this release until December, but now here's where things are a little bit different. They've already said beforehand that Hyanko is releasing actually in November, sometime in November. So we should expect it sometime in November. We're also getting the Thanksgiving Day special. This is also based off of J JP server event history. Um, and then there also is the, the, the download campaign that we're supposed to be waiting for, which the wiki seems to think that will probably happen in December. I think it's still very much likely it happens in November. They're probably underestimating just how many days are actually in November or something like that. But yeah, uh, in terms of the actual campaigns we got here, we may as well look at 22 million download campaign first. So this is what it has right here. This is where we get some missions that are related to leveling any craft essence and getting it to 100. I don't think I have a single craft essence that is actually fully leveled to level 100. Uh, that isn't one you get that's automatically level 100 or something. I'm making my way there. My kaleidoscope is like level 87. It's like the last thing I ever want to do in my life. I hate craft essence leveling. They should really improve it. I hate the idea that you have to use uh, EXP bombs to actually get your craft essence going and I think it's stupid. So. And then also this is where they introduced a new revive item. I don't remember if we already have this actually, funny enough. But anyway, additional limited extra missions. There you go, we'll have some more here, all related to the arc, obviously because those are pains in the ass, so they were like, whatever, here you go, new fancy revive, in case you already used your three command seals for the day. And then we get some more main quest AP, great suck, and super suck right up, and then all free quests, first time clear, one half AP, if you cleared Lost Belt Part 5, and then all daily quests are going to be open. And then in terms of the Mana Prism Shop, we'll get Take Romance. What a weird, uh, 1%, <laughs> it's a QP and Mastery XP related, uh, craft essence. And then you'll also be able to get Detective Foe in the mana, rare Mana Prism Shop, which you, again, it costs 1 to unlock the ability to buy it with a thousand green Mana Prisms, just to let you know. And then the summon campaign is, of course, Shikabu fill it up with some Valentine's Day CEs like Bittersweet, Valkyrie Style, and Memory of Qualia. Nothing too big or things to think about. So yeah, uh, another thing to take note, because we still don't know if it's going to happen or not. It could happen, it could not happen. We'll have to wait and see, but there was a part two in Korea for Imaginary Scramble, which featured... Uh, Summer Sabres, Summer Tamamo, Summer... I don't remember. Abby, 5 Star Abby. There was one other 5 Star that I can't remember at the moment. Uh, Melt, Summer Melt was on it. Um, a lot of Summer units that usually don't get reran very often were on it. So it's a banner to kind of keep in mind. I did an entire video saying like, hey, maybe this is coming up. It's worth noting that the chances are we'll know very soon once we enter the second week of Imaginary Scramble. It would make sense for them to release a banner like that, but just something to keep in mind. It's not been many mentions of anything, including here, so good to keep in mind. Now, the Thanksgiving special, that's something that is an event that has always been exclusive to NA because we're the only ones that celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, this is what it usually looks like. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what it usually looks like. Maybe maybe some potential animation updates will be coming here early. 
Some limited time master quests will also open up for us and we can get an event reward command called Adorable, the one bearing fortune. Uh, this was last year. And then the banner is going to be, chances are, seven units, one for each class, potentially an eighth one um, after Berserker because, you know, we have enough of those, I think, that warrants it. We have no real idea, idea what they could be. I've made a couple guesses as to what I could, it could potentially be. If you have any specific guesses, feel free to tell me about them. But it really is usually just units that are either popular or have not been re-ran in a while or rarely re-ran. Like, obviously, Okita's popular, Hawk is popular, Nero's popular, um, Jack is popular. I think Simige is popular. Reigns is pretty popular, from what I remember. People like Moriarty. I'm going to consider him popular. And the Horseman, which is maybe the one I'm least sure of how popular he is, but he is a Horseman, so I'm going to assume he's very popular and well-liked. So, we'll have to wait and see on that one. And let me see, anything else potentially? Oh yeah, may as well look at this. What's coming with the Lost Belt release right when it comes out? Well, there's a summoning campaign that features, oh, fucking this guy, I fucking forgot. Um, <laughs> Aishia Doman and Watanabe no Suna. Uh, oh, I fucking, I, I really don't like this guy. Doman is a character I hate a whole bunch, but he's also insanely broken. He's an extremely good unit. I hate staring at him. I think I've made this mentioned every single time I've ever had to look at him. Can't stand his face. Absolutely despise him. Think he should die in a gutter. Should have never been released to the game. But here he is and he's one of the best units in the entire game. Uh, specifically because he is an AoE quick. He's fantastic for that. Um, why do I hate him so much? Because you're supposed to hate him. Isn't that the whole point of him? He's, a, he's never done anything good. He's just been a shitbag, and there you go. But I guess some people just absolutely love shitbags. It's not a, a Dio situation where I think Dio is very charming and well-liked, and that's why I like him. I think Doman's actually just a piece of shit, and that's the end of it. Summer Doman looks pretty alright, though. Uh, that's one of his costumes. I forget, this guy's fucking popular. This guy's well-liked. Yeah, this is a summer costume. Uh, which is funny because there's a version of him where he has his chest out and they did not add that one and everyone repeat people being kind of pissed at that, which is pretty funny. Anyway, he's going to be released with this banner and he's insanely good. There's no doubt in my mind. If you like him, then congratulations. Your boy was done so much crazy justice that there's no denying it. And then we have Suna, who is the guy who showed up next to uh, Doman, who I don't remember what he does. He's an AoE buster, no, not AoE buster, one hit buster, bonus against Oni. I'll look at him a little bit later, but I really don't know much about him. I don't see him mentioned. To be honest, I don't even see that much fan art of him at all. So, he's probably someone that is very, uh, for a uh, very succinct for people. I think he's one of Raiko's dudes, but yeah. If you're looking forward to this guy, please tell me what you like about him, because I'd be interested to know about him. I don't know enough about him, because again, I don't read ahead of the story stuff, so I, I, I know absolutely nothing. So maybe I'll get to know him a little bit more when the actual story part comes in. And then obviously the banner, which is the one I've been saving for, which has a Buki on it. Um, that comes, I think, and yep, yeah, that's part two. That will be probably in December. But hey, we'll see. And that's what the this month in uh, Fago is looking like. Uh, it's a pretty simple month. The reason is, is that obviously the two years ago, <laughs> a big thing happened to the entire world that uh, caused a lot of delays to everything. <laughs> So, NA is now in the uh, COVID era of Fago. We're officially all in on it. Uh, obviously, our things are probably a little bit different, but that's probably going to change a lot. Uh, 2021 is going to be a weird year because, again, I think this is around the time people were complaining that there's just, just nothing to do. But at the same time, it's like everyone was just trying to not die. So and trying to figure out what the fuck to do and how to work from home and all that other stuff. So, you know, it's a process, but not to make any excuses, but I, I at least understand. I'm not saying you have to understand at the same time, but I understand. So, there you go. That's the end of the video, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.